Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers and welcome back to some more Minecraft here on the Yeti Cave. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing great and doing real good here myself. Just kind of hanging out, doing some AFK over here by the iron farm since we just took a whole bunch of blocks. <laughs> Seems to be working pretty good, but in today's episode, hey, you can see behind us some items. You get to, Today we are going to be getting ourselves a slime farm. And um, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use a tutorial by Waddles. And I'll put a link for that in the description, of course. And the other thing we're going to do is actually we're going to jump to a third-party website, Mine Atlas. I know it's a little bit old and outdated, but that's the one that we are going to use to find ourselves some slime chunks. So let's jump over there. All right, so here we are in Mine Atlas. I'm sure a few of you who have played for a little while have seen this. It's kind of an older version. I know there's some newer ones out there that... Uh, websites that show you kind of the biome generation and different things like that. This one was officially, I think the last update was 1.8 so it's a little bit old but most of the world and terrain gen is still pretty good. You're not gonna find like you're the new biomes like the new ocean biomes and some of those other new like I think there's some gravel mountains or something like that that they won't find for you but you know uh, for our purposes, I think this works just fine. We also have the nature's compass if we need to go finding biomes. So this kind of gives us the gist of what we're looking for. And the most important thing that we're looking for today are these slime chunks. But you can see the Mine Atlas website also offers to help you find witch huts, jungle temples, desert temples, ocean monuments, which is how we found our original ocean monument, this guy over here, um, as well as some likely villages. Uh, and your spawn. So you can see spawns right here and here is our little mushroom island all by its lonesome. Uh, we transform this to the desert island and what we're going to do is find somewhere that's kind of close that is a slime chunk and we might do uh, one that's kind of connected to a couple. So you can see there's some pretty good options here. All of these are different slime chunks, any of these little green squares. So like these would be, this would be a really good option, you know, four of them, actually five if you kind of stood kind of close, you could get maybe five chunks spawning slimes, but I don't need like the world's most efficient thing, I just want one that'll get the job done. So um, this little one by three is pretty tempting as, as well as this little like, this looks like a Tetris piece almost. Um, but I think we'll probably go with this little one by three because it'll be straightforward and easy to get this one to go together. And it starts, I think, on the spawn island, or on our little mushroom island itself, so we can have the way down over here, and then we can have a bunch of other stuff going on. So what I'm going to do is take the coordinates of this guy. You can see negative 104 and 404, and you can see that oh, it goes up here when I'm on the map. Uh, and I'm going to go to the our spawn world, or not to our spawn world, but just our, to our world and go to those coordinates, and we're going to dig down to Y40, and from, we're gonna dig down from Y40, these entire chunks out, all the way down to Y11. So that's why we needed a beacon, is because this is gonna take a little while and probably quite a bit of durability on our pickaxe, but I'm not gonna do that in a time lapse because it's pretty boring, let's be honest, to watch someone dig something out. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I will jump back with you once this guy is ready to rock. All right, friends, check it out. We are good. The slimes are spawning. Woohoo, this is the first one that spawned, so I thought I'd bring you guys in and show you that our little three chunk area seems to be working. And I've got um, chunk borders and hitboxes and things uh, turned on with just with the F3 button. So F3 and G will get you the, um, F3B will get you the hitboxes. I don't know why I had that on. Um, F3G will get you the chunk borders. I don't know if we've talked about that in another video or not, but. Ooh, getting lots of slime already. Um, yeah, so then you can see the chunk border. So you can see there's one over here, two, three, and then we're doing a or cutting out a three block wide area over there. So one level down, and we've already got some slimes. Things are looking up. Things are looking good. We've got slime heads too. Life is good. So more digging. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back, everybody. We have been doing quite a bit of work. Dig, dig, dig is the name of the game. So much digging. So you can see we've got a little elevator block here. Boop, come on down. Pretty much done with this thing. And you can see as I have been building this, it's not done yet, but we have been, I've, this is more slime balls than I will probably ever use. So uh, the reason we are done is because, let me come show you this. Uh, oh, also one thing, I wanted to show this. I didn't know this before, but if you right click on an elevator block, check that out. You can just hide it into the ground. And then if you click on it again, you have the options to do this directional. You can show you which way to go. 
and then you can also remove the camouflage if you want but I'm gonna keep it in there I think that's pretty awesome I didn't know you could hide them so well I usually just try and find a color that kind of matches but um, okay so we've been digging quite a bit you can see I've got tons and tons of resources like 28,000 cobblestone um, this is just for refilling building up the walls you can see here are some of the resources I have I've smelted tons of iron and gold already used a bunch of the coal I had more diamonds so we probably had over a stack of diamonds and then here's just some other random smob things I've gotten this is our um, unloading station. You can see there's the minecart going. It's pretty similar to the ones we have, just the comparator sending the signal. So it's powered. The rail here is powered unless we have something in the hopper, and then it's not powered, so the minecart will stop until it's unloaded. Um, look at this. I, I really, really like the design in here. I love having the prismarine, but I don't have enough. Even with all of the... Um, experience I've been getting from the guardian farms, that's where I get most of this, right? Is I kill guardians... To repair my tools and things and I've had to do that like three times for the pickaxe itself in digging this out I still don't have enough prismarine to fill up the entire thing so we've got one two three four layers there's probably another three or four to go but like I'm not super motivated to get this done because I'm just getting more items than I can handle so our oh you can you saw them just say there they go boom our uh, little minecart goes down and over that way goes underneath and picks up all the items from the magma cubes or the uh, magma blocks you can see like just spawning like crazy so um, I really like the design in here however it doesn't really match the exterior very well Let's see if our minecart decides to come back or not um, I'm a little bit afraid to go down there in case we bump it but that's okay so you can kind of whoop hello friend go back go back and unload no, oh, it's just gonna go back under that's okay um, you can see I've just kind of got it under there it's only like nine blocks Whoop or 12 blocks, I think. It's a three by four area for our little minecart to go. So it goes pretty quick and then comes back pretty quick. There it is already. I'm back. Um, yeah, I don't think that it matches very good the uh, desert aesthetic. I tried putting some sandstone down here, but I don't know how I feel about it. I like coming down here and getting this feel though. It just doesn't fit with the theme up above and I'm not sure if I care or not yet. But I'm pretty much going to call it an episode, I think, here. Like, we've done, I've done, like, hours and hours of work off camera trying to dig this guy out. And we'll continue to build this up and, and whatnot as we gather more prismarine. Um, hi, friend. From repairing our tools and whatnot. Since that's our primary uh, XP farm, we'll probably end up doing that. So I'm going to end up closing this off. I'll remove the beacon. I don't know that we'll need it anymore. We'll, like... The way that the farm's supposed to work, right? Like, good night. If you want it the most efficient ever, you use the rest of his tutorial and I think it's Waddles. I can't even remember. It's been so long. It's been a few days. You have some iron golems that the slimes pathfind to, and they jump off here, and then they they jump off these spawn they jump off the spawning platforms and go into this little water stream, and then the magma blocks kill them. But like, honestly, it's they just jump around enough, and it's so efficient. I have enough slime balls as is. That like I'm not real. I don't feel like it's worth it for me to put go through all the effort to put that in there. So good enough for now. I'm happy with what we've got. We will call it an episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next one.